Hello, my name is Sister Mary Rachel. I'm a Dominican Sister of St. Cecilia, and I've been in the community for tw almost 24 years, blessed years. When I think about my vocation, it is a, a time when I can really praise the Lord for his call to me, his call of mercy, his call of love. Throughout my life, I was really blessed to grow up in a faith-filled community and, um, and a faith-filled parish and also to be raised by beautiful, beautiful parents who instilled the faith in me. And prayer was really the, the center of our family life in a very natural way. That when difficulties would come up, or times to thank the Lord, we would, we would turn to Him in prayer. At a young age, I was grateful to have the opportunity to understand that Jesus calls to us at all different, in all different ways, at all different times, but also he calls particularly. So even in times of fear, learning as a child to turn to him and, and he was very truly savior. Um, so that was a, a foundation of my vocation. And as I grew up and went to university, I really encountered faith-filled people who would ask me if I was discerning. And I was confronted by the question because I didn't understand well, why would you ask such a personal question? But also, not that I didn't know how to answer it. So I started to say that I was 50-50. I was open to God's will. And that phrase really became true because I would seek the Lord in Eucharistic adoration and ask Him, what are you calling me to? I knew He was calling me to a life of love. And that's, if I could narrow it down, I, I knew that I was called to give and to receive love. I always thought that would be a really handsome man and a beautiful family. And as I got to know uh, the Lord more and would see peers of mine discerning the priesthood or discerning religious life, the whole world opened up for me. And the first time I met our sisters was at, at a college campus. And one sister who was an incredible athlete and seeing her still as a sister and playing sports that I loved, all of a sudden um, I began began to realize that I don't have to become somebody different to answer the call the Lord had for my life. I can answer as me, whoever I am, and with all the gifts that I, I have. And that was a, a big surprise um, and an invitation, actually. So taking that experience of meeting our sisters and, and, and then asking our Lord in Eucharistic adoration, it really, really boiled down to um, day by day asking His will and waiting on him to answer um, and waiting on his invitation. So one time in Eucharistic Adoration, I asked, I was asking again, and I, I heard silently in my heart um, as I discerned, is this, is this man who you want me to date or do you want me to be a sister? And hearing in the silence of my heart, the Lord saying, I have made your heart for me and no other man. And that's a hum, that was a humbling thing to hear because he knows everything about me. He knows everything about us. And in that very real invitation was the freedom to say, I knew I was totally free. I could say yes or I could say no. So I had a decision before me and I said, Lord, I will follow it and please open up the doors however you want me to follow. And I, I will go through those doors, close the ones you don't want me to, to enter through. And at that moment, he, wow, he opened up door after door after door. So I came to, uh, to our mother house here in Nashville, Tennessee, to visit our sisters. And as I sat and visited with our sisters and heard their stories and, and lived the liturgy of the hours and prayed with the sisters and just was in recreation and uh, listening to them, it's almost like I was f filing in my memory a a joy that I hadn't experienced before. And I thought, what is that joy? So the call of Jesus to be his bride then became solidified really when I visited and thought, okay, I know you're calling me, now how do I do this? And then by visiting the mother house and seeing how other sisters have answered this call, I realized this is the place that he wants me to answer my vocation and, and to live it out. So it has been um, a joy to be able to 
to live as a Dominican Sister of St. Cecilia, to take the gospel message to so many young people and even sometimes older people, um, and to, to belong to him. That is the greatest joy, that no matter what we do, uh, we belong especially to Jesus, and, and there's no greater joy. Thank you.